because this story is called Paul's Case, it almost makes us think of a case file and begs the question, so what's the diagnosis? There are a number of ways we can define Paul, diagnose Paul, with psychological um, issues or concepts. The, these are just some possibilities. There is evidence in the story of depression, of perhaps uh, attention deficit disorder, and so on. We have a lot of evidence in the story of that. And just a reminder that the psychological approach will use modern psychological concepts on stories even from, from even before uh, those concepts were in use. This story was based on the, uh, a story that uh, Cather had heard when she was working as a teacher in Pittsburgh. And so one can assume that she had also some experience with students of this age, which probably contributed to her uh, writing of this story. There's a lot of symbolism in the story regarding what is art, what is artifice, what is beauty. And just a note about the, the meaning of art, artifice, which used to be a positive term and now is rather negative. I love the juxtaposition in this story of, first of all, the streets. The way that Cordelia Street, Street in Pittsburgh is described, it seems like almost a slum. Um, and clearly it reflects Paul's feeling of despair about being there. By contrast, when he goes to New York City, Fifth Avenue is clean and beautiful and, and seems like it promises a wonderful life. Another bit of juxtaposition is the foil character of the young clerk that is so very different from Paul, but um, who his father holds up as a model that uh, Paul should aspire to be like. This is a good example of naturalism. Naturalism doesn't always mean uh, conflict with um, physical nature, but in many cases it's a, a conflict with the society one is in. And clearly in Paul's case he felt that the Industrial Revolution had brought jobs, but pretty much dead-end lives, and this story reflects that. One of the main themes that I see in this story is about the American dream. The American dream suggested that everyone could pull themselves up by their own bootstraps and become a success, which is true in theory, but in practice it doesn't work that way. And of course in Paul's case he wasn't really that interested in the working himself up to the top. There's a lot of use of appearance versus reality in this story as well. Many people in this story and in life, I suppose, wear a facade. Um, another thing I think this story mentions or suggests is that Paul and people, therefore, shouldn't be more attracted to art than to um, reality. Paul seems to be playing out a role more than he is really living his life. It's also true that uh, Cather felt that the artistic temperament was often misunderstood and she felt that art was lost to the Industrial Revolution during this time. But I always wonder when Paul is held up as uh, an, an artist or a representative of art, um, whether we should whether we should feel that or not, because he's not really an artist himself; he's more just uh, an observer.